Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 2nd, 2019. So, hey everyone, <clears throat> if you happen to hear me um, sounding a little bit different this morning, I've come away from the holiday here, it looks like, with maybe a little bit of a cold, so uh, bear with me. Hopefully I won't be coughing and sneezing um, as I do this video. Try to avoid that anyway. So as we look at the market this morning, we're getting a nasty reversal gap down. Um, obviously on Monday, we gapped higher and moved up on some news that a phone call between the president and the Chinese leader seemed to result in, um, you know, warm and fuzzy feelings about trade. Well, that is completely reversed this morning now. It's not in regard to trade so much as it is to um, uh, uh, China released some manufacturing results last night that were uh, dismal, uh, to say the least, showing that the pressures of the um, uh, trade uh, tariffs are really starting to affect them severely and we're seeing uh, they they sold off strongly and then European markets continued uh, that uh, sentiment this morning reversing overall sentiment and and that's one of the risks right now that we have in this this market is it, it's very very difficult for any swing or position trader to hold a position overnight which means it's very much a day traders market right now because there's so much risk in holding a position overnight because we get this complete reversal of sentiment and then the other thing that makes it really really challenging is that we're not taking the time to do any kind of backing and filling we don't do any uh, creating support levels when we rally we just go all at once and that creates these big open gaps or those possibilities of a very steep sell-off so let's take a look at this this morning you can see we were reacting to this resistance level right in here uh, on uh, Monday and now we're pulling back from that now here's the problem if you look through here there's really no price support through here and we didn't build any price support in this entire moved um, up because we just raced up and so with no price support in there if if the sellers are to stay on this today if they were to really start pushing just kind of keep in mind there's really nothing that could prevent us from uh, selling off all the way back down into here or even down here further so watch that closely there's no price action support in there Unless we look to a very short-term intraday chart, we might find some. So this morning, the market is gapping down substantially this morning. We're gapping down into this area. We're giving up our uh, Friday price action and our Monday price action all at once. And as you can see, we do have this downtrend line right here that could serve as a bit of a... Of, um, a price support but kind of keep in mind that could come all the way back down here before we really find that next level of support that we've got right here in the chart so boy anything is possible and then uh, the president has called a meeting between himself and congressional leadership trying to find some resolution to the government shutdown so what we're going to have to do today is probably be very very flexible and very focused on price action because the market is likely going to be very very sensitive to the news that spins out of that meeting today so watch that closely if if you know, the president holds a line and says, look, we're going to stay shut down unless you move my direction, then uh, the market's likely not going to uh, to uh, like that uh, uh, that information, the government remaining shut down. If they 
start coming together and getting closer to a resolution or it looks like there was progress made, the market may respond uh, bullishly to that. So we're going to have to stay very, very flexible today and watch because we'll be very sensitive most likely to any of that new spin that comes out of that meeting. Let's um, take a look at the SPY here really quickly. SPY also right up here in this resistance zone kind of reacting to that resistance zone and now we have you know uh, this ugly gap down that's wiping out uh, again both uh, Friday and Monday's price action um, so here we are facing another pretty rough day um, in the market um, with this gap down and, and lots of uncertainty so that's likely going to raise the fear level of the market and uh, create some issues here for us now what we do want to watch for remember we had that big reversal here last Thursday so is it possible that if we gap down here this morning and run down a little bit if we get some news out of this meeting between the president and, and Congress, uh, congressional members, could we rally all the way back up? And I think the answer to that is yes. Anything is possible here. And that's why I keep I keep mentioning we're going to have to stay very, very flexible and really focus on the price action because this could whip around considerably. If you're new to trading, if you're inexperienced at trading, if you're uncomfortable with that kind of really fast price action, Probably the better thing to do is just be standing on the sidelines, keeping your hands in your pocket, protecting your capital until some of this settles out because we really could see some substantial moves and even big intraday reversals uh, in reaction to these news reports um, on the government shutdown. Let's take a look at the cues real quick. Oh, by the way, um, another problem here is that next level of support is is down here, and you can see this downtrend that we have in play. It's about a perfect failure at the downtrend, so we could find some support in here. But uh, because we built no price support in this rally, again, we could move all the way back down here to these lows. Let's take a look at the cues real quickly. Cues, very much um, similar situation, challenging resistance, price resistance areas here. Substan substantial gap down. Um, we have this longer term downtrend here. We have the shorter term downtrend here. Uh, so that reaction down, if we can't find some price support right through this level right here, then, uh, and we slip below that which we're gapping below that this morning if we don't recover very quickly then kind of keep in mind we could move back down into these levels really quickly IWM IWM showing us resistance here and significant resistance right here that we tested on Monday and you can see we didn't react really that greatly to that um, shooting star hanging man pattern here at a resistance high and now we're showing gap down this morning we could easily see this maybe slipping all the way down into here um, if the sellers kind of really stay on the gas um, pushing things lower today so watch that close after the gap let's take a quick look at the VIX that VIX has pulled back nicely, and I suspect we're going to find some support right in here today with this 350 point gap down a little fear coming back into the market we're likely to catch a little bit of price support there and push that up now intraday if we get good news or something that pushes us back down we could certainly whip this right back lower and break that support that's what i'd love to see in the fear is just that break back down get get us down here into this lower area um, underneath that 25 handle would be awesome um, uh, breaking some of that uh, fear in the market but if those sellers stay on the gas today if they really continue to press if the president and the congressional meeting doesn't go well um, we could really see that fear continue to spike up um, off of that level of support and really that's just holding the trend uh, that we're currently in in the VIX 
Let's take a look at T2122. You know, I mention this quite often that I just hate these big spikes that we've been experiencing um, in the market here. We get these big spike ups. It's a, it's that all or nothing market. We, we don't want to um, have any... Uh, stable, sustained moves, uh, building support or resistance levels. We just want to whip it back and forth. And that's what we did here, just rallying way too far, probably way too fast. And now um, we ha run that potential of this pulling all the way back as a result. So this gap down this morning is obviously uh, going to push this back down and uh, we cannot rule out the possibility that we could come all the way back down here to this bullish reversal zone um, in a big whip back down because we've seen it before. We saw it right here. 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 We get these big whips up and then we whip it all the way back down. So um, we can't rule that out today, that possibility. So be a little careful careful, cautious how you plan your trades uh, moving forward here today. Let's take a look at that economic calendar today. If there's any chance of moving this market around or, or creating a little bit of bullish sentiment uh, before that congressional meeting with the president today, um, it's going to be this right here, the PMI Manufacturing Index at 945. If we got a, a good number out of that or something, we could maybe expect a little bit of price movement. Because on the earnings calendar, we've only got seven companies reporting earnings and, and none of them would be uh, particularly notable earnings. Now, keep in mind, we do have a lot of big um, information coming up here on the economic calendar um, as we roll through the rest of the week. We've got jobless claims and ISM in here that's important. And then the big employment situation number um, on Friday, typically the market um, in a normal market, we would kind of go um, stale. The market would just become very, very choppy as we wait for this number. Um, clearly, we're not stale or choppy right now. We're whipping dramatically. So anything is possible. But that big number there is something we want to pay attention to. And then, of course, we have Jerome Powell speaking on... Uh, on the calendar on Friday as well. Maybe he'll soften some of his comments, we sound a little bit more dovish. Who knows um, what he will do? If he stays very hawkish, we're gonna we're gonna have um, more issues and troubles as he speaks here. So let's kind of keep an eye on all these things. Um, this is gonna be a challenging week, I think. Um, as traders come back, we could see a little bit of light volume here this morning. Um, Big intraday swings, complete reversals overnight are certainly possible uh, as um, our government works through all of this uncertainty that they've created in the market. So be very, very, very careful. Now, when it comes to trading, um, there's certainly trades that are available, but the, sadly, they have to be very, very quick trades to be very effective. You know, for example, if I were to take the diamonds chart here, maybe go to a 15 minute chart, you can see there's great reversal patterns here that show themselves and, and big trades when we break down trends on this 15 minute chart look at that beautiful run up and it could be even faster if you're a, a really really quick trader go to a five minute chart there's big trades that occur um, in these um, really quick really quick moves because we're moving in such extreme uh, point gains and losses in such a short period of time. But breaking those downtrends, seeing buyers stepping in, holding little price support levels, and then zooming to the upside. Um, there's certainly those short-term trades for shorting as well, failing a new high and breaking down. So if you're looking for something like that, there may be some intraday trading. Kind of keep in mind, though, you got to be careful with that, with um, you know anyone that uh, might be in that pattern day trading uh, rule. And day trading is not for everyone. Um, it is a very challenging thing. In fact, most day traders lose money for a very long time before they really start making money 
money um, at all uh, day trading because there's a lot of emotion involved in that really quick price action and it's very, very challenging. Um, other trades out there where you might be able to find some safety, uh, maybe looking at uh, some of the utilities, some of the gold stocks, a uh, few things like that are looking pretty good. There are stocks that have been showing uh, potential of bottom, uh, bottoming patterns like uh, Facebook trying to bottom here, now gapping lower this morning. Um, JD was one uh, that I was kind of keeping an eye on here, breaking this long-term downtrend, and now it is gapping down this morning, uh, continuing to bounce around, trying to uh, figure out this bottom. So there's a lot of those kind of stocks right now trying to determine a bottom, um, but it's going to be really difficult to trade them because of the extreme whip of the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much for for doing that that just taking that moment to do that makes a huge difference um, in how many folks get an opportunity to see these videos because it changes uh, the YouTube algorithms um, um, respond to folks commenting and uh, clicking those thumbs up buttons so thank you very much also hey guys I want to point out um, that interview that member interview that I did with Mike Peterson is available on the YouTube channel um, if you haven't seen that um, take a look at that and um, also leave you know leave those thumbs up and comments on on that video as well thank you everyone everyone have a great day we'll talk to you all bright and early thursday morning i wish you all the very best take care